does your side still hurt you? No, no, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> then why are you taking off your jacket so slow? Slow or sexy? <laughs> Honey, will you help me get down the food processor unless it's gonna hurt you too much? Please, I laugh in the face of pain. <laughs> okay, I have an appointment with Dr. Holden on Friday. I'll see if he can fit you in, too. Okay, honey, if it makes you feel better, I'll go, but there's nothing wrong with me. Daddy's home! <laughs> We can, uh, we can take her to the doctor, too. <laughs> you can read me, baby, like an open book. Stop me dead my tracks with only just one look. Now when the lights go down, and when it comes to you and me, girl, ooh, you turn me inside out. I'm still in love with you today, cause you make me happy. Check up, go. Oh, he was very thorough. In fact, I'm pretty sure I cheated on you. <laughs> well, sometimes people are misled by my gentle hand. <laughs> as far as your lateral pain, eh, it looks like it's just probably a pulled muscle. But you're gonna have to take it easy for a few days. Ooh, that might be a problem, doctor. I don't think he really could take it any easier. <laughs> I'm talking about Bill lying down whenever he can, no carrying groceries, no taking out the trash, no physical exercise. So am I. <laughs> Thank you, Lila. Okay, cholesterol results. Miller Bill. Hmm. According to these numbers, you've got LSOB syndrome. LSOB? What's that? A man with your eating habits and cholesterol this good, it means you want lucky SOB. <laughs> I like that one. <clears throat> Not you, young lady. Your cholesterol's through the roof. What? My cholesterol's higher than his, but I exercise all the time. And the way he eats, he's more pizza than husband. I'm sorry, a lot of it's heredity. Ha <sighs> <laughs> ha. Want another prostate exam? <laughs> Maybe. You're the one stuck on a heart smart diet. Health food blows. <laughs> Look at this soy bacon, soy chips, soy cheese. Oh, God, it smells like somebody threw up feet. <laughs> I mean, yum. Lauren, could you grab me another medicine from the fridge and uh, bring one for Fitz, too? Well, can you make mine an imported medicine? <laughs> So, did I tell you that my fiancé has a new pet name for me? He calls me Linda Bear. Is it possible that he just can't remember your last name? I'm in love. You can't hurt me. There is, there is something about Perry that's been nagging me a bit. The fact that he talks with a fake English accent and sings in a fog hat cover band? No. My only worry is that Perry's never really spent time around kids. Mm, that's a shame, too. Because kids love fog hat. Are you done? I just want him to be comfortable around children so he's open to the idea of us having kids. Three girls, Tiffany, Amber, and Helen. Two strippers and an old lady. I was wondering if I could borrow one of your kids so Perry could spend some time with them. Well, I'll hang out with you guys. I think his band's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, I love you, honey, but I was thinking of Tina, you know, more on the cute and cuddly, less on the freaky teenage problems. Yeah, I'm the one with the freaky problems. <laughs> and here's your fresh garden salad. What? Oh, look, you can move. Here's your burger. Thank you, son. I'll be napping later. Come down in an hour and turn me. <laughs> It's a pretty sweet deal having that magic blood, mister. Hey, you know what you're looking at, Fitz? The perfect machine. <laughs> Don't worry about Judy, though. That cholesterol's a big health risk. Probably means she's gonna go before you. Hey, don't talk like that. Hey, I'm as torn up about this as you are. Judy was gonna be the first person I was gonna hit on after my wife, Cax. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. In my plan, you're dead, too. Oh, good. Otherwise, that'd be really insensitive. 
fix. Bill, can you get the food processor down for me? I have a condition. Yeah, you know what? You're full of baloney, and I mean that literally. <laughs> now get up. You've been milking this for a week. Well, it was a good run. <clears throat> so, Judy, I, I heard the news. I gotta say, nobody's as sorry as I am. We would have been great together. <laughs> How many bottles of medicine have you had today, Fitz? I'm just worried about you and that cholesterol. You're a ticking time bomb. Fitz, I gotta watch what I eat. I'm not gonna die. Yeah, that's a brave girl. Chin up, huh? <laughs> I just feel really sorry for Bill here, though. I mean, if you go first, that poor bastard will be helpless. Without you, he couldn't find his ass with both hands and an ass map. <laughs> I don't think you're giving Bill enough credit. Judy, why am I in the kitchen? <laughs> Food processor. It's not here. Tilt your head up. I don't see it. Open the cabinet. Oh. <laughs> You know the great thing about work? They give you a check every week and all they get back is a tiny little piece of your soul. <laughs> Suckers. Bill, sit down. Fitz said something to me yesterday and it got me kind of rattled. Oh, don't worry. I know he's planning to date you, but by then your looks will be gone and nobody will want you. <laughs> Thanks. Um... But I was talking about if I, you know, God forbid, went first, and it was bugging me all morning. So I came back right after lunch, and uh, I wrote you this. My darling Bill? What is this? Well, in case something should happen to me, I wanted you to know, you know, everything about the kids, the house, where we keep the important papers. And then, as I was writing, I started to think about our life together. And I had so much that I wanted to tell you, if God forbid. <laughs> well, it's all in here. Thanks. Good stuff. <laughs> Bill. Uh -huh. Well, don't you want to say anything to me about writing that letter? Nice job. <laughs> I was uh, kind of hoping that you'd uh, write me a letter back. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bill, you're not wearing a watch, okay? <laughs> Come on, this is important to me. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll give it a shot. Thank you. Hello! Hey! How did it go with Perry? Well, so much for selling him on the idea of having kids. Why, what happened? Ribbit! Ribbit! <laughs> <laughs> she's a frog! <laughs> and she's been a frog for two solid Where's Perry? Well, he was parking the car, but he might be in the garage looking for wire cutters so he can give himself a vasectomy. Oh. That's <laughs> my little frog. Ribbit. 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 Okay. <laughs> Perry, you don't have to humor her anymore. No, Linda Bear has been brilliant spending the day with Tina. I mean, usually I'm round a kid. I'm studying her face and praying she don't look like me. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> I know. I was, just, uh, I was just telling Judy how adorable she was. No, you said you hated it. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. <laughs> Why don't you go on upstairs and play, sweetie? Ah, uh, we should go. Yeah. <laughs> Did you give up on the ladder? Nope, all done. Wow, well, it took you like three minutes. You know, you could take a longer time if you want to. Mine took all afternoon. Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> Whoa, 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 we're not supposed to look at those now. Oh, no, I just want to take a peek. You can look at mine if you want. Oh, I, I still got half the jumble. <laughs> Dear Judy, snow shovels behind the garage. Exo dead bill. <laughs> P.S. Boo. No, 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 it's uh, boo. <laughs> so that's it? You're dead, I'm all alone, and all you have to say is boo. Honey, movies and Halloween decorations have taught us that that's all the dead can say. So you have nothing to say about the life we shared together. We're just kind of, what, hanging out on this couch till one of us drops. I didn't know I was supposed to write some big statement about our life. You just told me to write what I do. I do the shoveling when it snows. That's all I do. You know what? I don't no, 
know which makes me sad or this letter or the fact that that's all you do. Hey, don't forget the work I do in the boudoir. <laughs> Bill, I poured my heart into that letter so I could console you and leave you with something that you'd always have. I wept on the paper, Bill. Oh, I get it. Weeping. Okay, let me take another whack at this. If you write who after the boo, <laughs> then I'm going to find a new place to put the snow shovel. <laughs> then I'm going to need more time. <laughs> on the ladder? Yep. How's it going? Fine. Could you not hover? I'm not hovering. <laughs> Bill, it's not hard. Just start with the things you'll miss about our life together. Tell me what I won't miss, you hovering. What? <laughs> I love you. Hey! Hey! Perry and I were out shopping and we picked up Tina something. Oh, Tina! We got her a frog. <laughs> it's got a little hat. A frog hat. Oh, I get it. Frog hat, like your band. Frog hat. Frog hat. That had not occurred to me. That's good. That is good. Hi, Tina Bear. I've uh, got someone to meet you. Froggy, meet my friend Tina Bear. Thanks, Perry. <laughs> Did you just call her Tina Bear? Yeah. That's funny, because uh, I'm Linda Bear. <laughs> that is funny. I'm funny today. <laughs> Did you just hear that whole bear thing? Yeah. Wish I hadn't. <laughs> Judy, I was his bear. Until you know who came along. <laughs> Are you seriously competing with the seven-year-old? <laughs> I didn't choose this battle, Judy. Oh. <laughs> what are you working on, mate? A letter to Judy for after I'm dead. <laughs> That's an awesome title. <laughs> Letter to Judy for after I'm dead. Something, something, shagging hookers instead. Hey, mate. Actual letter, which so far only has today's date. She'd like some advice from a songwriter. I thought you were in a cover band. Still got to write the songs down. <laughs> hey, Perry. Hey, Brian. See, Bill, you should do what I do, carry a notebook. That way, when the muse comes knocking, you can start rocking. <laughs> I've been working on my wedding vows. Have a listen. Your love is a sunshine that kisses my cheek. Your laughter is my music. And when I lie in your arms, I find rest from this weary world. Wow, that's amazing. See, it's just like writing a song. Uh, you know, I'm a songwriter too, so you're preaching to the choir. Oh, uh, yeah, what sort of stuff do you write? Uh, musicals, mostly. Here we go. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm really inspired by Sondheim. Mm. Sondheim, I know that bloke. Really? Yeah, he's that dirtbag backup drummer for Cheap Trick. Owes me $500. Uh, no, 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 you, you don't understand. This is a completely different guy. Yeah, whatever you say. But rehab's not magic, little man. <laughs> Remember I told you I was bugging Bill to write that letter? Well, he finally didn't. It's beautiful. Judy, your love is the sunshine that kisses my cheek. Your laughter is my music. And when I lie in your arms, I find rest from this weary world. <laughs> God, I didn't think Bill was capable of this. You know what? I'm not surprised. <laughs> I know this side of Bill. That's why I married him. Excuse me. Hey, you beautiful man. Next time you go warehouse shopping, I need another big bag of socks. Anything you want. I read your letter. Oh, the letter. Oh, uh, how did you find that? You put it on my pillow. Oh, uh, 
Is it, is it okay? Oh, it's perfect. You're perfect. Oh, now, honey, only God's perfect. But some of us are damn close. <laughs> Listen, Linda's in the kitchen. What do you say I get rid of her and we discuss this upstairs? Oh, you mean naked talking? Because there's something I'd like to get off your chest. <laughs> Bill's letter is so amazing. Listen to this imagery. Your love is the sunshine that kisses my cheek. Oh, that <laughs> is so... Bill. Uh, actually, it, it's Perry. What? Yeah, that's from Perry's wedding vows to Aunt Linda. He, he showed me and Dad his notebook. You mean Perry wrote this for me? And Bill copied it? <laughs> now that is so Bill. <laughs> He copied Perry's vows. Well, I, I mean, not exactly. See how he changed uh, on this day we are wed to on this day I am dead. <laughs> Excuse me. I can't believe I was so worried about a stupid pet name. I mean, can you believe those beautiful words he wrote for me? Perry loves me so much. I'm not sharing him with children. <laughs> But I thought you really wanted children. Oh, Brian, Perry finds rest in my arms. I'm not putting a baby in there. <laughs> well, I think that's for the best. I was just uh, putting on some lotion. <laughs> Does the one top or bottom, my lady? Neither. Oh, and it's not even my birthday. <laughs> Perry's vows? <laughs> Did you really think you could get away with this? Obviously. <laughs> Didn't you think I'd recognize them at Linda and Perry's wedding? Oh, Judy, come on. It's your sister. There's not going to be a wedding. <laughs> You know, Bill, I just hope that if you sat down and looked at our life, you'd have something to say to me about it. I love you. I'll miss you. Nice rack, something. First of all, I can't stop talking about your rack. Ask anybody at work. And as far as loving you goes, let's just say many a mare tried to lure this stallion from the meadow, Judy. <laughs> many a mare. Bill, when I wrote that letter, I wanted to tell you things. Things that we never say to each other. So that you'd know what all this meant to me. And I know that it might sound a little crazy, but I wanted a little something like that back from you. Well, I don't want to, and I'm tired of talking about it. And you can't even try. No. Why not? See, if I answer you, I'd be talking about it. And if you can't understand that, then I, I don't know what more I can say. <laughs> Lotion. You know what? I might be mad. I've had some good success not expecting much from you in this life. I'll just carry that on over into death. That's the spirit. <laughs> you know what bothers me, Bill? You didn't even care enough to read this letter. <sighs> Stay out of my lotion! <laughs> How's the movie? Fine. Good. What's this? Oh, it's a stool. I made it for you, you know, so you can get the food processor off the shelf. And you don't have to get off the couch. Yeah, I guess. By the way, the coping saw was exactly where you said it was in your letter. You read my letter? Yeah. And? And I made you a stool. By the way, the Band-Aids were also where you said they were. <laughs> Why'd you make me a stool? Because I don't, I don't want you falling or dropping something. You know, if, if, if I'm not here. Can we, can we not talk about this? Oh, Bill, that's what I don't get. Why can't we talk about this? Because, because. Look, do you want the stool or not? I love the stool. I just wish you could tell me what it's feeling. 
damn it, Judy. I, I don't even want to think about it. Because, you know, this is everything. And if, if you're not here, or, you know, I'm not here. Anyway, I made this. <laughs> For me? Yeah. You made it because you want to take care of me. Even after your... Death. Yeah, 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 that. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I could always put the food processor on the bottom shelf. <laughs> uh, I used the bottom shelf to make the stool. <laughs> Well, I gotta admit, Perry wrote some beautiful vows. Yeah, you know, he seems kind of dippy, but he really has the heart of a poet. Your love is the sunshine that kisses my cheek. Your laughter is my music. And when I lie in your arms, I find rest from this weary world. Poetry is nice, but it's no cure for erectile dysfunction. 